new day. Oh my. <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all. It's a new day. It's a new unboxing. And today is another one from one of my favorite accounts, Her Authentic. She is an Instagram shop and she is absolutely wonderful. Seriously, she's a gem. And I got something for such a steal off her Instagram stories. Oh my gosh, let's open it up. If you remember right, last time I got that gorgeous Burberry purse, which I absolutely love. I haven't taken it out yet, but I cannot wait to take it out. I'm gonna get so much use out of that. And that is my vintage one. That was my mom's. I mentioned I had in that last video and I forgot to show you guys that's what it looks like right there but that one is just going to be a staple I really love it so this is another one that is like a crazy deal that I got off her Instagram stories in like six seconds she posted it and I was like mine that this I love it <laughs> so let's open it up okay do we have any guesses on what it is open it up here. I do not have one of these Looking for my other scissors here. Not quite sure I'm actually opening that. There we go. I have one in another brand, but I don't have one of these. It is, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It is a Louis Vuitton belt. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool in person. Let's open it up. I do have already the classic Gucci belt. I bought this in Rome on a layover and I do wear it sometimes, but I don't wear it as much. I don't own a lot of Gucci besides the loafers. I don't own any Gucci bags or anything. So it's just a little bit hard to wear sometimes because of my Chanel bags since I wear those the most. I don't really wanna wear a Gucci logo that big and a Chanel logo on my purse. Um, just, you know, personal preference. I don't like love mixing brands. Some people do it really well, but just not me. Um, so when I saw this on her stories for an absolute steal, I was like, okay, well, that's what I need for when I'm wearing something that I need it not to be Gucci. This is so great. This was an absolute steal. As you can see, of course, there's some wear on it and stuff, but that is totally okay because I got this for a steal, literally $175. <laughs> I know all of you are like, you're kidding me. That's a crazy good deal. You don't get Louis Vuitton belts for $175, but it does have a lot of wear on it. So I mean, I am trading that and there is an extra hole that is punched in here, but I have a hole punch uh, for belts that's actually like very, very good. You know what? I'm gonna link to it because that is actually for metal and because it's for metal and it's obviously for something thicker than leather, it ends up making just a really clean cut. I wonder where it is. I need to find it, <laughs> but it's somewhere weird and I haven't been able to find it. But anyways, you'll see it on the swipe up whenever you look at it and it's just like this really large, you know, bit of a contraption or whatever, but it's just super nice really really nice I think it was a little bit more expensive but it's totally worth it if you wear a lot of belts uh, just because you get so much more of a clean look instead of it looking like this as you can see someone did it themselves it just doesn't look clean at all same thing with this one but I'll be able to go back through that and make a hole exactly like this that will literally look exactly like this it's a really, really cool tool. But whenever I find it, I'll just film it with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I went on the hunt and I found it actually. Here it is. It is. Comes in this really cool case. Yeah. And as you can see, there's all these little punches that is the diameter of your actual uh, circle that you want to create. And then you have this right here, which your belt goes in here. And then you just make a small boop and it cuts it all the way through extremely clean. This is a really, really good one. Again, it's made for metal, but it just works like a charm on belts, on thick leather belts. I've actually gotten way more use out of it than I thought I did or would have, uh, so I'll link it for you. Okay, so what I did is I took this, which these are the options, and I went to the original belt holes and I found the one that fits exact. As you can see, it is very flush works perfectly. But this other hole, somebody had punched it just a little bit thicker. So I went the one up from this just so I could kind of clean up 
this whole area right here. And all you do is you make sure to line it up as good as possible on a flat surface and you feed it in. Pop it back a little bit. The belt has enough room to go back. Okay, so now that we have it on a flat surface, we take it and you can get very technical with this and insert it to the exact measurement this way. But I kind of just eyeball it because it matters to me, but I'm also pretty detailed. So if it's not absolutely perfect, I'm kind of okay with that. Kind of just feel it out. And I'm going to push it down, but I'm gonna do that off camera just so I can go ahead and make sure that it's really good. Okay, now that I think I have it on the exact right spot, I'm gonna put it on the flat surface and there you go. Take it off and there you go. Now you can see it is a perfect hole versus the other one. It should actually show us what we did. I don't think it cut as much off because it was already cut, but I'm gonna clean it up and I'll show you back just in a second. And there we go. Isn't that so much cleaner than before? Oh, I wish I've taken a picture before, but you can kind of see the difference. See how rough and how clean. And all I did was I stuck the uh, part back through it. I just kind of wiggled it around and made sure that all of these little edges were like being pressed on the sides and that leaves a really clean finished product. So there you have it. My new Louis Vuitton belt, which I'm so excited to start getting to wear. Now, another thing that is really cool about this belt is that since we added this or I didn't add, but the person before me added that. You can actually tuck it on the inside. And so it doesn't have this long flap over here. Instead of pushing it through this way, I can just push it through that way and then hook it like that. So it'll still look really clean, which I'm excited about. As well as the inside of this leather, I have a really cool way to clean this actually. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, do a different video of how to uh, spruce up your vintage pieces because I, I did a poll forever ago asking if you guys wanted to see that and a lot of you voted yes and I just haven't done it yet. So I thought this would be a really good piece to show you some of those tips and tricks on. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified because I upload new unboxing videos every single day.